don't go anywhere because in this video, we're gonna go over why it is super important to get the big picture when troubleshooting, and that's gonna start right now. All right, upon first inspection, we have at least a visual indicator that we have power. But I did see before the low water cutoff light was on. Hmm. And that water level's rising pretty quick. Something's going on. Why is this boiler not firing? Boiler two is firing, but boiler one is not. I think, hmm, look down here. I think our rollout switch is tripped. Sure enough. Now, why did that happen? Let me stand back. There's something funky going on. And there's a lot of soot in there. I think we're gonna have to brush this out. And so begins the long and tedious process of trying to find every single little screw that is holding this boiler together. And if we take a look right in here, we could see our boiler's leaking. So this isn't just carbon soot buildup from the gas, this is actually a legitimate problem. That's really bad. Cool. This is gonna turn into a full install. What a great way to demonstrate why it is so important to not just take things at face value. Look, I could have just came, saw that the rollout switch was tripped. I could have reset it, boiler kicks on. I could have just left. But instead, I was observant and I noticed that there was soot buildup underneath the burner. When the boiler turned on, it just didn't seem to light right. If I just pushed the button and left, this could have turned out to be a bigger problem. And look what happened. This wasn't just a nuisance trip of a rollout switch. The boiler's leaking. A lot of times, a problem is just a symptom caused by another problem. Hi, me from the future. It would be equivalent to a pressure switch not closing because the inducer motor doesn't turn on. It doesn't mean the pressure switch is the problem. It means there's another problem. Sometimes control boards or error codes might say, pressure switch didn't close, uh, change the pressure switch. We want to know the sequence of operations so we know how everything is supposed to run, when it's supposed to turn on, when it's supposed to turn off, what it's supposed to do. This way, along the way, we can figure out where the problem is really coming from. Okay, sorry for interrupting, back to the video. This will come with time, knowing the sequence of operations for every boiler, because they're all gonna be different. So don't beat yourself up over it if, you know, you get a call back because there was actually another problem going on that you didn't realize. But just keep in mind, you know, take a couple extra seconds, a couple extra minutes, go through, make sure that there's nothing that could have caused that rollout switch to trip, or it could have caused that transformer to burn out, that, you know, you name it, it doesn't matter. A lot of times there's gonna be multiple levels to troubleshooting. Now it's time to call the boss and start making plans to get this boiler swapped out. And that's all I got for you for today. Catch you in the next.